One of the things that have grown exponentially over the past decade is the amount of data available. And because of this huge increment, data science has now become one of the most important fields that affect our day to day life. All the ideas and concepts that we see in a sci fi movie can be turned into a reality with the help of data science. It is the future of artificial intelligence. So, what is data science? Most of the data nowadays is not structured and since the size is relatively huge as compared to what it was a few decades before, there was a need to create some more complex tools and algorithms for processing, gathering meaningful insights and discovering hidden patterns from it. Data science is nothing but a blend of such tools and algorithms. Everything from face recognition to those very accurate Google search results is an example of applications of data science. Suppose you want to score better in exams, one thing you could do is to go through previous year question papers and try to analyze which are the most important chapters and topics that usually come from. Since it is a very tedious process to analyze years of paper, we could just use data science to solve this problem. The first step to solve any data science problem is to try to think of a few different ways to approach the problem. For this project, we are going to use Python, but in real life projects, no one actually cares how you read it. All that matters is the end result. The next step is also one of the most difficult steps in solving any data science problem, which is collecting the data. As a matter of fact, a data scientist spends his or her most of the time collecting and cleaning data. For this project, we needed labeled questions from different chapters. Since there wasn't any ready-made dataset, we had to create a web scraper with the help of a module called Beautiful Store. We stored the questions with the help of a module named Pickle. Now, in order to analyze the paper, we need to classify the classified questions into different categories. For that purpose, we trained a random forest classifier from the model Sagittarius and Python. We got a pretty high accuracy considering the fact that the number of questions we had was pretty low. The next step was to collect the papers and extract questions from it. For this, we had to create a scraper again. And in order to extract questions from PDF files, we had to use a module named PXTRA. The next step was data preparation. For this particular problem, we had to remove all the stop words and punctuations from the sentence since they don't really add any meaning to the question while classifying. Since we had all the data cleaned up and ready to be used in the model, all we needed was an algorithm to cluster up similar questions. The most obvious choice for this step was to use K-means clustering algorithm. In real life problems, getting the data sets won't be this easy and would require a lot of time and effort. As a matter of fact, 95% of the tasks don't even require deep learning.